Hey guys, the enemy update is live! Hooray! Two days left for the launch discount, by the way. In this update, you will learn why you should almost always separate logic from rendering. We will also build the first version of our game and I'll show you the exact steps you need to follow to do so. Building your game from time to time is a huge time saver. It allows for quick error detection. Unfortunately, not everything will behave the same on mobile and inside of the editor. After that, we will add our first enemy. The arena felt a bit empty before that. The sole goal of that enemy will be to follow and attack us. So I will show you a really simple yet effective way to do so. You will then learn how to use gizmos to easily debug and balance your game. This is really useful when tweaking values to make the game more fun and enjoyable for the player. After that, you will create your first particle system and add the required logic for them to play whenever the enemy passes away. Feedback plays a huge role in games, and one of its aspects is letting the player know where enemies are going to spawn. That way, the player can plan in advance and it gives a sense of power. For that, we will add a spawn indicator and animate it using a twinning library. We will then add attack logic to the enemy, refactor our code to keep a clean code base and lay out the foundation for a clean architecture to end up by creating our first prefab. And you will learn all of this in about one hour. If you haven't enrolled yet, I'm leaving a link in the description. So go check it out.